show between bands, yes. Uh, real quick, thanks to everybody for coming out to the Throw Down the 20th Anniversary Party. Let's all do this as we're supposed to do. Uh, uh, people came all the way from England. I won't say who, but it's the goth looking lady selling merch over there. Uh, and uh, anyways, next special guest. Rush Limbaugh with a little speech about the Rush Out for That's enough of that. I know you're all card-carrying Republicans. Let me tell you something else. I have a ginger tabby named Filibuster, and she is the center of my universe. How's everybody doing in Baltimore? Who's going to vote for Romney? Who's got Romney fever? I, uh, I grew my hair back. I have a speech for you, and it's also a drinking game. The rule is you have to drink every time you hear a thrill jockey band's nations. Does everybody understand the rules? Look at all you thrill junkies. You rode in here on your Pontiac, your nerve shot, all hopped up on freak water and Jimmy Martin poppers. It's going to cost you a lot of fucking money. You're so goddamn drunk, your head's ringing like a human bell. Oh, let me tell you something, my fellow Americans. Two wongs don't make a run. Just in one. Maybe, maybe in some distant time on some future island, we will cross isotope 217 with the laser crystal. But now you must act like an adult. Just in one second. Be the barn owl in the night and protect Twig Harper from those twig pickers. For what kind of deal has this new president given us? Personally, to me, well, it seems like a real Bobby Khan. <laughs> and will Dan Freels really free us from the double dagger that has been thrusted through the heart of America? No bomb that could cover. Well, my friends, <laughs> I think that we as a people have taken a wrong turn on Tom Gurley. navigate the tunnels through the white hills and we may not win but you know what they say you win zones you lose zones well, but we must protect our town and country from the sticks and stones of terrorism we should spend all money on war all the time these bleeding heart sub pop record liberals disagree. Well, you know what? I think they have skull defects. Oh. The great John Fitzgerald Kennedy once said, Ask not what your country can do no for you. Ask what you can do for your country. We shall conquer this planet from sea to shiny sea and cake. The world will be in a state of sugar shock and awe as we stick our javelin into the golden retriever of terrorism <laughs> and march into the fiery furnaces. They may use guerrilla tactics, but America's future lies on the other side of that golden void. We know, it's kind of obscure, man. We know what it was that destroyed this economy. People say Ed, but well, excuse me, people say Rush. Bernie made off with my money and he can kiss my fanny. On the contrary, it's pretty good. On the contrary, it was the gray market goods dealt from high places in hush arbors and a minor forest. We shall burn baby David Bird down the house of lies and on the 11th green day when an explosion star orchestra heralds an extra golden era, a new school of language that embraces the eternal tapestry set forth by our founding fathers Jason Yurick and Dan Higgs will emerge. This will not happen overnight. We may have to move at a pace akin to the tortoise. And it won't take one man, it won't take two men, it will take Nora. Allow me to tell a story of inspiration. About eight bold souls who rode the coil sea, I should say parenthetically that they're from the Bronx coil. They rode great wooden shijips through all the planted watch. But they did not, John Parrish, for they went vested with a national trust all 
the way to Miami, where they docked on the giant sand, and they heard the pitter pat of various mouths on Mars are so ashamed. And in the fights, they said, well, I'm Bogogum, if we're gonna turn around now. These guardian aliens looked on this new land and said, probably, suck my Bill Dixon. Some real, real junkies. But where are we now? Or as the great Michael Stipe says, what's the frequency, Matmos? Well, Rome wasn't built today, day. And, and how, you guys agree, and how can I say this? The words are at the tip of my tongue. We have to realize how low-key we are. And though we are at the crossroads, where we find ourselves to be the accidental inheritors of a broke-back economy and a guns employment rate, we must call in together and hold camp the belief that we are man forever! Thank you! Thank you, Rush Limbaugh, for taking a break from doing all that oxycontin down in Florida and reading that really long speech. Uh, up next, we have the only hardcore band on Thrill Jockey, Cordis. Uh, so I want to see some motion, I want to see some circle pits, head walks, stage dives, whatever. The